I'm sure you've heard this. Um, not all COVID tests are created equal. We know there's difference in testing sites and what you should do and then throw in the component. Are you even doing it right? There are still so many things out there to make sure we are staying safe and healthy. And that's why I am glad to bring in Dr. Emily Volk, who is the president of the College of American Pathologists to dive into this topic and so much more. Dr. Volk, good morning. It's good to see you. Good morning, thank you. So let's go ahead and dive right in. I know the first question even that comes to my mind, the at-home tests. Let's talk about administering them correctly. You should see when I've had to do some on my family, the, the nervousness that I have about, did I twist enough times? Did I leave it set enough times? I mean, there's quite a few steps. How can we make sure we're doing it right? What I need to, what I tell folks about the at-home test is you gotta follow those instructions. So it sounds like you're doing that. You're taking the time to read how many swabs, uh, you, how many times you turn that swab around in the nose, how many drops of that liquid reagent you put into the uh, cartridge, how you're doing that test really matters. You're really running a clinical laboratory test on your kitchen table and it deserves your attention and your time. I also like to tell people, you know, don't subject yourself to any interruptions during the testing. You know, turn off your phone, have somebody else answer the door. And also don't leave these tests out in your car. Hot or cold extremes may change the ability of the test to work right. That's a really good tip that I had not heard yet. So thank you for that, Dr. Volk. And you know, you think about too, these, these testing centers that are you know, coming up, and I heard something that was so disturbing that some of these testing centers are not accredited. People are kind of looking at them as even a scam. How do you make sure if you choose to get tested outside of your home that it is an accredited place? Well, it's such a great point. Unfortunately, there are folks out there who are taking advantage of the situation. Most drive throughs testing sites are fine, but you know we really need to remember testing is not a commodity. These are patient results and they need to be done properly. So asking the question, who's running the drive through testing site and where are they sending your test for analysis? Most testing sites are collection centers, not truly testing uh, the samples right then and there. So finding out, is my sample going to an accredited laboratory where you know, you have folks like pathologists making sure that the quality is right, that uh, checks are being performed, and that there's a real dedication to going above and beyond to make sure those test results you get are test results you can rely on. Well, speaking of reliability, let's talk the difference, of course, between the PCR and the rapid antigen tests. Is one more accurate? If you do one and get a positive, do you need to do the other? I feel like there's so much misinformation out there regarding this. Yeah, great question. What I like to tell people is both tests are really important tools for us during this pandemic. The rapid antigen test has the advantage of being something you can do at home and you can get a result in you know as little as 15 or 30 minutes. That can be really important when you don't necessarily have a lot of time. That being said, if the results you get from that rapid antigen test or that at-home test don't make sense, meaning you've been exposed and you have symptoms and you get a negative test at home, you're gonna to wanna to follow that up with a more reliable and more accurate laboratory test. The kind of test we call a PCR test, where we look for that virus's uh, genetic material uh, it's more specific, more sensitive. It's a better test. Dr. Volk, thank you for sharing all of this information. And we've actually been sharing a website on the bottom of our screen too, the newsroom.cap.org. Is that the best place to go to kind of recap everything that you and I were just talking about? There's great information that's very patient friendly. Yes. Oh, I, like that. I like hearing that patient friendly. Thank you so much again for your time today.